On tonight's Project Earth, surfing made sustainable. So a recent study found 92% of surfers feel a personal responsibility to protect the ocean. But most of the millions of surfboards made each year are not environmentally friendly. Now, a Santa Cruz startup hopes to help surfers catch the next wave in a way that's better for the planet. Ann Makovic has the story. Steamer Lane, an iconic California surf spot in Santa Cruz. It's a slice of paradise. See you in a little. For surfer Tyler James. The ocean's so powerful and it's, it holds such a good place in my heart. When you're out there, it's just, it's just you in the ocean. It's something so special about it. On this day, it is extra special. After a jump off the bluffs and paddling into position, Tyler's trying something new, a high performance surfboard custom made for him. Tyler's board is 3D printed using a biodegradable plant-based plastic. Most surfboards are carved out of blocks of foam made from fossil fuel. This is the future, I think, of surfing. An estimated 40% of foam cut away from a board is thrown into landfill. You can even see the light through it straight. These boards are foam hollow. free. That thing is hollow. There's channels, all these channels right here. They're created at swell cycle with just enough bioplastic filament called polylactic acid, or PLA for short. Which is compostable in very specific condition. Basically uh, made mostly from corn or sugar cane, anything that can be turned into sugar. There's two boards here. Swell cycles, Dr. Lisbeth Van Hassel says the boards are then laminated, making them waterproof and stronger than foam. The startup works with board designers like Spina. Swell Cycle then brings it to life. We're um, developing tools to make manufacturing more sustainable. Patricio Guerrero is CEO and co-founder. We're looking at different processes and seeing how we can um, take advantage of waste reduction opportunities through 3D printing, additive manufacturing, where you're actually laying down exactly the material you need rather than subtracting it from a big block of foam. In our process, we keep all the waste that we generate, which is pretty low, but still we keep them, and this material is completely recyclable. Swell Cycle throws demo days when surfers can try out the boards. At Pleasure Point, they were a hit. They're really fast, they're really fun, like they're not your traditional board. It was a blast. Tyler is now an ambassador for the brand. It's so important for surfers to understand if we want to keep surfing, that we got to care about our oceans, we got to care about the, the process that's making our boards. Riding the wave of positive change. Swell Cycles next demo days are happening right now through December. They'll post the dates on their website. Paul, is that you? Look at that. And you can find Paul there at just kidding, kpix.com. Okay, we're